Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. As you can see, we're not in the usual um, setup, let's say. So we are not in the large mobile game because today I finally want to talk about formation, wonder war, troop composition and so on. And before we really go into the topic, um, yeah, I think it's... Um, a really hard topic to explain because there is not a hundred percent okay you have to do this or a hundred percent you have to do that um, these are all suggestions also experience so please also um, don't be too harsh to me if there is maybe something wrong write it in the comment if there is something wrong also people who are maxed or who watch my channel um, can also give their comment in the section about the experience Wait. Do you really think the next player watch me? I don't think so. Anyway, um, yeah, please don't be too hard to me because uh, I mean, I'm, I would not say I'm the totally 100% best player, but I still want to give people insight about it because I, I think I have enough experience now that I have can give some insight about it. Um, but topics where I don't know 100%, I will not go into deep. But um, I also tried to keep it short, but I don't know how long this video will be. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're in the first uh, picture. So, um, uh, first of all, I would like to talk about uh, familiars, heroes, and compositions. And yeah, if we go to the see the left side, so I listed up all the familiars possible. So we have the packed five familiars um, with the six. I call them six hundred familiars because they give six hundred percent damage based. And um, yeah, and the 150 familiars because they deal 150 damage every four seconds. Then packed four and packed three familiars. Um, yeah, a as you probably know, the packed five are pretty good, but there is also some some differences when to use and when not. Um, I listed up also those familiars because I saw also. So I, I mean, these familiars are mostly listed, which I saw. But I also have here three X's and um, these X's are for fam familiars. I don't really recommend or I don't see them as valued. Um, just as a rough estimation, um, if you go, I saw people who go 442 with a pack three uh, care familiar and um, he lost every single time in a care of wedge. So I would, wait a minute. Uh... I would not recommend this familiar in a 442 formation and go care watch because I saw him losing every single time. Uh, the same I think might count. So f I tested also 442 and f uh, two, 244 um, and 244 is not an option at all, I would say. So yeah, I would also not recommend this familiar uh, in a battle. The pack three, um, the, he is valuable, but we will talk to this later. Um, and um, also from experience, I would say the Mega Mega. I don't really like it, but uh, maybe somebody else has good experience with it. But yeah, I would rather put it that way. Uh, yeah, we. Are, I, I think to heroes, I don't have to say much for for the. F let's say free play stuff we have the good uh, army attack hp heroes with the um, with those three berserker uh songstress and uh, i forgot the name and then two uh, attack hp ones which uh, yeah can be these two or you can also use uh, the other one i don't remember dream witch and for the pair to play familiars, you use, of course, the LMKs and two army attack HP, uh, army attack HP defense. I think there is not much I need to explain for that. Um, yeah. Then um, I I go through different um, compositions. Uh, maybe there are more compositions. Of course, there are more compositions possible. Um, this is also depending on the reality and depending on the experience with each composition. But I want to go mainly through these because they are used the most time, which is then probably also for a reason why they're used the most time. Um, yeah, so first of all, I think 424 four four is the most used um, composition. Um, but we will, yeah, 424 four, uh, four four means like 
4 in 2 range 4 kf so yeah uh, 442 means then 4 in 4 range 2 kf but then just scaled up and um, yeah uh, then there is another option I recently realized and I want to also include it uh, wait I think you don't see it that way um, which is something like this which is pretty much similar I would say to a 424 but with uh, more range in it um, so it's like a 4 so 433 are the fill sending you send kev the reason why people might use it is also because as a rail elite you will not lose your your troops and uh, yeah if you defend you can refill and still have maybe 4 million or 3.9 million um, if you send this one in a mar in your march and you you defend once then you're also obviously lower in troops and in the end you have the disadvantage because you're lower in troops um, yeah also in terms now of these two differences to the familiars um, it, it's hard to explain but let me try it so both familiars are valuable don't get me wrong um, in different situations of course um, the 600% is pretty good because it it activates relatively early which might give you at the start in the battle an advantage the brutal bunny also can be really huge because he can activate up to five times but he will activate later and also um, I'm not sure if he really activates five times or if it's just up to five times so maybe it's just like a, a gamble situation as well so they can be huge but they can be also um, yeah can screw you let's say yeah I think this is um, the base we have right now and we already like seven minutes so that will be a long video but uh, I tried so um, I want to give you some examples um, sometimes they're not exactly what we've seen before but this is really difficult to find the exact uh, answer for everything because yeah as I said it also depends highly on your t5 count it depends on sigils wolf sigils on gear and so on and so on yeah so please yeah just uh, don't take it 100% granted but yeah so here we have uh, two different types of troops and um, yeah they are mainly based on 424 I would say um, the reason why is simple so if you go 424 you're heavy infant heavy calf so you want to boost that stat somehow because you see the 600s will give you it's also based on your initial attack as well as the 150 so you will obviously use them because you want to strengthen your infant your calf as well as uh, the the griffin will give you army however it also gives you a disadvantage let's say versus spear rallies not infant not range but cavalry because um yeah cavalry is obviously the counter of 424 um yeah so that is why also often people use instead of the griffin familiar the t3 stacking familiars because you are low on range so he will proc relatively often and uh, let me find uh uh, do I? Oh no, okay, this report will come later, sorry. Okay, yeah, so he will stack relatively often if you're low on troops. And as you can see here, this is K KW10 versus uh, the Yokin account. Uh, and you see, yeah, Yokin account is not next and all that stuff. And KW KW10 has um, Emperor piece and all that kind of things. It is not an exactly 4 to 4, um, I have to say, but I didn't find a better example for it. Um, yeah, but pretty much uh, we have a little bit higher on range, which also helped in that case. Um, but still, yeah, just as an example, you are able to defend even with weaker stats, such a player, if you uh, yeah, have, for example, uh, this kind of troop composition and if you're in the right formation. So we come to the next point also, formation. Um, usually you're sitting in a uh, range phalanx yeah because it's simply the strongest you can sit in in a 424 formation 
um, when uh, when uh, when mix is coming, also when Spears is coming, it it helps you basically. Um, however, if somebody is going cavalry, also is going Spears, for example, um, you can still win in uh, versus infantry. You can still win with a th versus range, but with a range failings, um, the next troop troop type on behind is infantry. So that is why you're gonna swap to range wedge. Of course, if somebody is coming, is carpeting fast, you probably don't have the chance. You might still win any, anyway. Uh, if you also see, of course, if you also see somebody's coming in for range, you can still swap formations. Um, yeah. So this is the, the first example. The second example is a uh, 442. And here I have two examples. So first of all, Vico versus Nash. Um, yeah, Nash was in a pretty much in a 442, I would say. Uh, Vico was more or less in a 424, kind of. Um, with heavy cavalry. Not exactly 424, but anyway, it's just an example, yeah. Um, and you see, he smacked him. And T5 count is a little bit higher on Nash's side, but still, the difference is huge. But maybe it is getting more clearer when we look. Oh, you, you see it? Do you see it? No, you don't see it. Okay, I have to to bring it up. When you see, for example, Woody versus Nash. So this is Woody, this is Nash. Um, yeah. 442 versus 424. Which brings us to the next point. So from my experience, 442 beats 424. Of course, 424 can also beat 424 if you're better in stats, higher and all that stuff. But yeah, in generally, if you also exclude all the familiars, uh, and we have same stats on both sides, 442 four, four, wins versus 424. Four. Um, of course, yeah, if you don't have the gear, you will also not win. But uh, yeah, just, um, yeah, it is what you have to run, basically, if, you, if you're going to match that. Yeah, familiar-wise, for a 442, you run, you also strengthen your highest troop types, which is range and inf. And yeah, here there are also different opinions, so you can use either Griffin or also, uh, I would say, this familiar. And yeah, finally, I have a, a more exotic one, um, which I don't want to explain too much, but I just want to show it. So this is uh, something different I didn't show before. Um, so we have all three 600s, the 150 bunny and the stacking familiar. And I want, just wanted to show this example because this was versus a two times emperor, Bevere versus two times emperor. And yeah, he was pretty much four to four versus, uh, I would say four, three, three somehow. And yeah, this result was pretty much not that good uh, on the on the emperor count side um so it seems that bevere was clearly winning um one reason so i explain it usually like this so if you run 424 yeah you have the range and then you have the infant calf um infant calf will walk through the infant so the enemy infant calf will walk through the other infant calf and go to the range and the range hold them as long as they can. But also if the range are beaten, those troops have to walk back to fight the others. And I think this is also some of the key points uh, of winning with 4 to 4 versus mix. But yeah, this is theoretically, it's not 100% granted. Okay, I want to show you another example. Uh, is it? This one, yes. Um, if you are sitting in a not in a range phalanx, so this is a uh, an example why it is not good to sit in infantry, for example, with this a range formation. Although it you think like it's the counter, but it is not a good example. So it is not good basically. So the, there you can see range phalanx is really the best you can sit in, um, except of for example spear rallies. There you have to play with the wedges, uh, kind of range in the inf. I would say, yeah. Um, do I have another example? No. Okay. Um, and now we come also to the next part. I, I think I already mentioned it. It is gear. Um, 
all these theoretical thoughts behind this now is use, useless if you don't have the gear. Um, you can still win with, with with a weaker gear if you you can you can balance it basically with T5 with wolf sigils with um, also with the other sigils, um, and also a little bit with somehow troop composition for four four two with four four two four. But yeah, in principle, gear is also really, really important. It's not all about formation and troop composition. So here again, I thank you, Woody, by the way, for sending me those. Um, this is um, an example. So Woody is running 4 to 4 um, with this gear and 4 4 2 with this gear. So if we look at it, he pretty much barely has any range stats in it. Um, yeah, which underlines the one that he strengthen uh, his infant KF and want to be it as strong as possible. So that the range adjust the buffer to hold the enemy's other troops as long as possible and to destroy them with his strong infant KF. Uh, pretty much the same for 442. Strengthen infant range. Uh, has a little bit KF. Um, yeah, and... Yeah, this is uh, pretty much the gear for infant range. So if you want to try to, maybe hard to rebuild, but uh, you can also work with the cops if you're weaker and all this stuff. So can, you can adjust a little bit, yeah. Um, yeah, what else I wanted to tell? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I'm not sure how helpful it is because it's on a more on a um, really advanced level and I hope I didn't tell any nonsense um, if I miss something I mean it's already 17 minutes if I miss something please let me know in the comments um, I'm really appreciated and uh, I don't see it as negative if you comment something that okay you talk bullshit in that because it's this and that I accept it if you say it's bullshit but if you say it's bullshit, I want an explanation why. So at least that. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a sub if you also like this one. Unfortunately, maybe this one has no intro and outro. But yeah, I hope you, you don't mind for this one. Um, see, see you guys. Bye.